Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new Battling Boxes support. And <laughs> it has been years. I think almost 10 years lost it. No, that's not true. We might got uh, this we might have gotten more support like years ago for battling boxers, but um I don't think we ever saw a competitive play. You know, we might saw them at locals, but you know what I mean. The short set is new support is fantastic. It's really, really solid support. Most of the new cards are in the main deck, um, I guess the biggest eye catch is Promoter, the most left one, which is basically a rescue rabbit with a built-in Cyber Dragon effect. Although the the biggest downside of the of the archetype, I guess, of this new rescue rabbit, and uh, I believe it's called Switch Hitter, you know, the debris dragon of the archetype, is is that as soon as you use their effects, that includes their special summoning effects, like I'm looking at the Promoter, right? You lock yourself into battling boxers for that turn, so it's not like after the effect. No, it's for that turn, so it prevents like uh, let's say Isolde plays. And short set, if you have the opportunity to go for Isolde, always go for Isolde, even though this new um, you know this new this new monster these these new lines for battling boxers, they are kind of outclassed by the Isolde lines featuring the Infernal Ball Knight, since quite conveniently, I think all of them are also, and I'm looking at the um, the Battling Boxers, I think they're all Fire Warrior, if I'm not mistaken, I think so, and they, they go super well together, more of that in a couple of moments, so the Isolde line, I guess, is very similar to, you know, as we've seen before, featuring the new cards, um, the deck hardly runs any bricks, like, and that's the scariest part. I guess the, the bricks are maybe Phoenix Blade, you know, you don't really want to draw that one. And I guess the two traps, uh, like Flameville Counter and uh, the other one, the other Counter Trap. But let's face it, if you're running or playing Battling Boxers, you are running those traps either way, simply because Counter or Flameville Counter is a spell and trap negator, while the other Counter Trap, which is searchable, also searchable by the Battling Boxers archetype, is a monster effect negation. And here in this room, you are able to search out both of them. Plus, having interruption with, you know, Charles or Charlemagne, the Link 1, and as you know, the Link 1 also negates spells. So it's really, really, really crazy. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned before, like there is hardly any downsides of mixing both of the archetypes, so battling boxers and um, infernal knights. Um, simply because again, everything works so well together. Like you know, the, the attaching the uh, what is it called, the green one. And you know, yeah, you know what I mean. The one that's when it's sent to the graveyard, get something back from the graveyard. Um, you know, also one of those old school infernal knight cards, uh, um, old school uh, battling boxer cards, right? Uh, so here in this case, Lead Yoke, I think it's definitely needed, you know, it protects your board by destruction, plus the, one of the new uh, Exceed monsters at rank 5 also negates summons, and that's fantastic. Uh, so here in this case, let me double check. Uh, yeah, there are no Isolde the lines, because again, you're using your promoter's effect, your rescue rabbit effect to special summon 2 from the deck, so that locks you into battling boxes for the entire turn. So I, I guess go for the standard opening turn then, and that's ending on double uh, Exceed. And you can use your Rescue Rabbit run from the graveyard, banish it to increase, I think, all battling boxes on the field either by one level or decrease them by one level. So just increase them, make them all level 5, so you can, you know, go for that rank 5 Exceed, play the one that negates summons by detaching too. Eclipse definitely hurts. Um... There's a couple of answers still, and you see that <laughs> this is such like the best feeling, I guess, that you know that Sword Soul is going to, you know, summon into your Nibiru, and, uh, you know, your monsters won't get destroyed because Book of Eclipse set them face down. I think Nibiru should be followed or should be used here in this situation. Yep, so destroying all fa- oh, distributing all phase of monsters on board, and Fishuda does bounce back the, you know, whatchamacallit, the uh, rank 5 one, the one that negates summons, but this is fine. Again, have an Isolde line ready, you should always go for the Isolde line here, there were no battling boxers uh, lines, uh, so Isolde here, I, I like Crossout, always main that Crossout simply because um, you know, like your rescue rabbit one, you don't want to get that ashed. So again, cross out is an instant staple for the deck. Uh, also for evenly matched, right? And that's why evenly matched is in here as well. Also because, you know, it's pretty much a card of the format, I feel. Especially going second. 
Again, these are some standard Inferno One Knight combos. Um, again, all of them really work well together. The new level one that when it's summoned, reborn something. So it's basically an easy level 5 synchro play. Um, plus, it's not a brick, because if you have it in your, like, like your hand, you can just banish it from your hand to extend even more. So again, like, like there is hardly any downsides of mixing both of them. So battling boxers and Inferno Monites. So sending the green one, get something back, get shadow back, so detach, that's a cool part, right? Oh, and that's something I guess uh, that I haven't mentioned yet. One of the new ones gives you the extra mobile summon, why the other one, it's upper cutter, uh, gives you a surge. So again, fantastic, it's basically another Stratos for the deck, plus uh, upper cutter, the Stratos of the deck, also can like very similar to Salamon Great reset a counter trap from the graveyard when it's like sent to the graveyard by a card effect. I think so. So like, de uh, you know, attach it from the graveyard and then detach it, you know, with those effects. And then you can just reset your counter trap. So that's really, really ridiculous. But you can only use one uppercutter effect per turn. So here in this case, I guess the Imperm prevents maybe Carrot from coming out, maybe Ibli from coming out, even though I do main deck the uh, Link Lingaribo. So here is, I guess, you know, battling against multiple interruptions. This is cool. Promoter, you know, still has that Cyber Dragon effect, even though you control a monster. So that's cool. Yeah, again, cross out. You definitely want it in the deck because of Ash, because of Nip, because of Failure and stuff like that. So this is cool. Going for uh, Dempsey. Dempsey is a spell on Trap Searcher or any Searcher, right? Again, a fantastic one. Plus Detach to make all of your uh, battling boxers um, they, so that they cannot be targeted during that turn. Uh, Avramax is a problem. Uh, so go for Lead Yoke. Makes it so that as soon as I detach something, my, my battling boxes cannot be destroyed by battle, plus, or it cannot be destroyed, and when, you know, a card is detached, Lead Yoke will gain 800 attack, and with this counter trap, Avramax will not get destroyed because of, you know, Mascarina, but its effect will get negated, so this is a suicide, and now I'm in full control, back in, well, full control, I can try to go for my standard combos here, search counter, which is the spell and trap negation, go for Dempsey, you know, to search out, I guess, another extender, uh, go for Letio, and I was like, I'm in full control, I have uh, the upper cutter uh, attached as well, so I can, you know, eventually detach it, reset the counter trap, right, sell them in great alike, but another Nibiru, as well. I was like, come on, <laughs> all the answers, but this is fine, uh, like the flame well counter is still live, I can just banish the uppercutter from the graveyard. And uh, the Rota, again, fantastic top deck, which is basically old school tour guide in the Olivier play, a one card rescue rabbit play. Uh, going for, what is it, Caesar? Is it Caesar? The one that, you know, attaches something from the graveyard. So maybe the, the green one or uppercutter, again, depending on which one, you know, you want to detach and get another search, get another add, etc. So um, this is the Red Dragon, yeah. <laughs> That's game. Again, I, I'm... Uh, what was my play? Oh, okay. So, Reborn something and then made the rank 5. Yeah. You know, by banishing the... Uh, whatchamacallit? The um, Rescue Rabbit one. Okay, so going second. Uh, against Full Swordsful. And, like, this opening hand is kind of good. Um, again, the potential Isolde line is there. The potential... Um, you know, a promoter line is there. Evenly matched for going second. So, this is cool. Problem, though, is that Swordsful is going to end on, like... So many negations. So let's see, like, uh, evenly matched is forcing out Baron. I don't think I was able to force out Baron before. Unless, you know, your opponent is stupid, but let's... <laughs> let's not... <laughs> uh, uh, how do you say it in English? Let's not, uh, you know, try to use that or try to do that. Or force it out uh, that way. So, short set. Okay, Promoter hits the field. It's getting impermed. And no is all the line, because again, Promoter's special summoning effect was used. Uh, that's sad. Um, Isolde would have been fantastic here, and I didn't see any answers. Like, uh, maybe uh, uh, counting on, like, a misplay, you know, Baron being used, I could have used or negated the effect. Negated the effect, but no, that, not the case. So this was an instant uh, instant loss. There were just too many interruptions here during the, uh, you know, during my turn, so during my first turn. So it is what it is. Uh, last one, I think, going first. And here is, and that's the thing. Even though you have Promoter, you can use uh, its effect to, you know, Special Summon 2, Battling Boxes, etc. Uh, Isolde line is always superior because, again, Isolde upon summon searches Promoter for your next turn. And, again, your Isolde line turns on everything. It ends on Charlemagne, it ends on Rank 4, etc. Uh, but Nip. But, again, that's fine. Like, you're always getting nipped either way. 
even with promoter. So Cow by prevents more uh, mills, I guess, and I am going to survive because the uh, Tournament One is not going to mill any um, you know specific cards for a potential fusion summon because Katkalo is bad. So I'm not going to use evenly matched. Wait it out, see if there's like a back row. There isn't, and. Very similar to, you know, opening turn, even though I do have Uppercutter, Isolde line is always superior, and now Isolde connects. So, okay, that's fine, the rank, uh, the level 1 summoned, Reborn level 4, going for level 5 Synchro, play Search, Field Spell, Field Spell searches basically the entire, you know, Infernal Monite Ancient, which always was there as well, because you're always running Durandal, because everything is a Fire Warrior, right? So this is super staple, again going for uh, Roland again, and this is so broken, like use Turpin twice, right? With the field spell to get it on board, and then with its own effect, if you have like a monster that has like an equip spell equipped, or something equipped. Um, and again, these are your lines to get out Charlemagne and a rank 4, like Dempsey for example. So Charlemagne for the spell and trap negation. Um, you know, Charles equipped, uh, or is this, this is game? No, this is not game, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do have the Battling Boxer Cross Counter, which is a monster effect negation, so there's one monster negation, there's one spell negation, which is going to get used, and yeah, that's more than enough, right? So you see that um, even, like, like the Isolde lines should always be preferred, but if there is no other way, you know, there is still your Rescue Rabbit, but that locks you into battling boxers for that turn but i mean the plays are there which is basically just one card into double rank for battling boxers play so i, I like the deck list i really like the deck list so all suggestions are definitely welcome okay guys that's it thanks for watching feel free to leave a card or like if you enjoyed the video leave them signing out peace